chairman, members of the board. Uh, <clears throat> the Aquarian Water Company has notified us that they will be taking the Glade Path water tank, that's Church Street, uh, out of service for a few days this week. They expect to maintain normal water pressures and qualities during the work period. They haven't told us what work they're doing, but they're going to take the tank down for a while to do some maintenance. Um, the finance department has begun the process of paying over the proceeds of the school impact fees being held for SAU 21. The sums pay will be applied against the taxes to be raised for Hampton's portion of the SAU taxes for the coming year uh, subject to board approval. The State Department of Transportation and Economic Development have begun to set up the construction site for the balance of the seawall repairs in Hampton. Construction work is slated to begin no later than today. And I, we already had a discussion that earlier this mm -hmm. evening on, on uh, uh, where people can park and, and uh, how they can avoid the construction <coughs> area in order to walk down the sidewalks down the beach. Efforts continue to have property at Winnicunnet and uh, Lafayette Roads cleaned up. I will say that it's becoming frustrating. Uh, because we're not getting any adequate responses from the individuals involved. Um, I have asked uh, through the office that uh, through town council uh, that they this be investigated by the fire chief and whether or not this constitutes a fire danger. If you look at the uh, the material that's growing down there, it's dying. There are their weeds. They're head tall in some places. They're right up against both buildings. There's a ton of trash buried in there. Uh, should we unfortunately have a, an accident with a lit cigarette or something that gets flipped in there or blown in off the street, then um, it's possible we could have quite a mess down there. Mm. If that's the case, then I want to have town council do something about that uh, with the fire chief's assistance. So I've asked them to look into that. Uh, the finance department has convinced, uh, commenced work on Gasby. 34 and 45, the fixed asset policy is also being update for updated for board approval. If um, we're trying not to, uh, to, to bury you, but uh, the, the bottom line is that <laughs> we had a, a fixed asset policy that was done a number of years ago. It was never approved by the board. We're updating that so that we can come into compliance with the GASB requirements. And uh, I know the Finance Department is working on that aggressively. Uh, we worked on it today some more. And uh, I hope that we'll have that to the board for approval within the next few meetings so that you folks can sit and talk about it and think about it and, and, and give us something concrete to work with and a system that will perpetuate itself as we go along. Thank you, sir. Questions for the town manager, Selectman Wilson? Um, I'm, I'm glad we're not gasping anymore. We're not. Gasby no, we stopped gasping. Good. Yes, thank you. Um, what is the situation? Who is responsible for the high street parking lot? Uh, the town is. The town. Who in the town? Parking lots come under the Park and Recreation Department and the selectmen. We apparently have a parking shortage in town. Um, there are comments that people don't have uh, any place to park because they want to go to the restaurants, the shops, and so forth in town. But I swung through the high street parking lot yesterday morning on my way to the market, and I want to know why boats are parked in the high street parking lot. I've asked the same question to the police department, and they're investigating it. I believe they're in the process of either ticketing or getting them towed. I certainly hope so. And there was one truck there, and I'm not an expert. I did not jump out of my car to look at it. There actually it were two boats at one point. Yes, there are two boats. Okay. There were still two boats, yes. Plus a large truck. Plus a large truck that looks and like it's not. there was some construction licensed. equipment. Yes. Yes, and I've questioned yes. all of them. Yes. There's also uh, two or three vehicles that are parked in there that apparently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shall we say they, they've been parked there a long time because they have a year-old residence sticker on them? Yes. Yes. It would help if we could have some sweeps through there from time to time and get rid of the stuff that is there that shouldn't be there, and God knows how long those boats have been there. We've asked the police department to do that and but I to... Hope um, they're going bye-bye. Well, me too. Thank you. Because we've asked them to go bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So They shouldn't be there. They're not supposed to be there. Appreciate that. Thank you, Fred. Not a problem, sir. 
<clears throat> yeah, there must be rules on how long they're allowed to stay there. Commercial vehicles can't be parked in there. Okay. That's that's well, then if it's a motor vehicle for transportation for for a car or an SUV, something of that nature, that's fine. Uh, and there are curfews in the parking lot which have to be obeyed and they're posted. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that we should be bringing somebody in from the police department to understand why that's not being corrected immediately. Okay. Yep. I have asked them in writing to do that. Thank you. Select and bridle. Yes, just uh, quickly, uh, the, uh, the, they're looking at the uh, impact fees for SAU 21. SAU 90 we've already dealt with, haven't we? We haven't. We've not received a request yet from SAU 90. Okay. And oh, as far as the seawall repairs, uh, Mary Louise, you had asked earlier about mm -hmm. uh, how long they were going to be. They're going to be there all fall. They will go until they can't work in the winter, mm -hmm. and then they will be back as soon as they can in the spring to try to finish up. They, like I said, they have. Last year they did. It was the most sections. Mm -hmm. If you know the wall, it's in sections. Right. They did 30 sections last year. Uh, this year they have a, uh, uh, with, with some of the money from the gas tax and stuff like that, where, mm -hmm. where it, there is some more money, uh, they, are, they are attempting to do the final 62 or 64 sections. Mm -hmm. So it is, a, it is a much bigger project than they've ever done before down there. And so that's why it's going to take them longer. Okay. So, thank you. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, one, one more on your, on your thing. The auction. Yes. Uh, are you going to yes. bring that up or are we? I, yeah, I wait. wanted to bring that up uh, as we got into a new business. Okay, I'll let you do that then. That's fine. Good. Thank you. Sir, yeah, I have only one question. Fred, if, if it's posted down in the municipal lot, can't we just tow them out of there? I mean, if it's posted that the, the rules are right there, can't you? We, we can tow them. Um, the boats and the trucks are a problem. In order to tow those, uh, they have to be disassembled, mm -hmm. and I think that's that's problematic in itself. So, um, I've asked police to have to get a hold of the okay. owners of the vehicles and to tell them to move them pronto, like pronto, like pronto, like yeah, really, really quick. Um, they shouldn't be there. They're taking up parking. Uh, they're also causing a problem or potential problem in the future because if they they look like they're batten down for the winter is the is the perception uh certainly we have to plow that parking lot in the winter they're at the yeah. lower end of the parking lot and that's where the snow is going to get piled uh, we don't want to get sued because we damaged their equipment Aww. plowing snow so we want them out of there did you consider the possibility that they're waiting for the, the ocean to rise mr welch is there any reason for uh, the finance director to be here right now um no May we excuse him? We certainly can. So sorry for the negligent direction. Appreciate that. Appreciate you being here, and I'm sorry I didn't snap too early. I don't think there's any need for the people to have to look at those boats either. That, to me, is the biggest issue. What happens, yeah, what happens, of course, a lot of times, and we have the same problem in several other parking lots. So last year we cleaned out the Church Street parking lot. Uh, what we found is we found several derelict vehicles in there full of trash. Mm. It was. It seemed like they had to pay money to take the stuff to the dump, so they dumped them in a, in a derelict vehicle and stuffed them in the parking lot. Mm. Uh, we had a devil of a time cleaning the parking lot up, but we got it cleaned up and with the police department's assistance, so we've kept it clean. So we're going to have to do the same thing with High Street. Routine patrols <clears throat> in the parking lots might be very nice. And that would be very good. I think we've, we've talked this issue. Well, okay, yeah, well, go ahead, let's, let's do it. Go ahead, please. While sir. we're talking about dumping, I noticed that yes. somebody has, one of our, it appears that one of our local landscapers has dumped a bunch of grass clippings up on Drake Side Road, oh, on the side of the road, uh, just just before you get to Toll Farm Road. Okay. Uh, so, uh, that that appeared there last night. So wonderful. Maybe there's a boat under it. <laughs> it's possible. 